Hello. I got bored and decided that I would make a video of The Walking Dead. Now, I just want to say, to start off, that I have already completed this game on the PS3, but I wanted to give it a go on the PC and try to be the biggest dick I could possibly be. Now, this means pretty much being a prick to everyone I meet. I don't know how far I'm going to go with this, if I do the whole series, or just maybe the first episode, or maybe just a bit, I don't know. Depends what people want, but I have started up on a new save, so, yeah. Black man in a police car. No surprise. What do you want, Christopher Lloyd? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Um. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Um, silence. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? Oh, I fucking will. I fucking will. Use the mouse to look around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. So you've got an opinion. Fuck you. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Who oh, fucking the kids? I really You wanna know how I see it? Not fucking really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Shit. You better shut your bitch ass. Yeah, fucking right. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Well, fuck you. No. <sighs> Helicopter going out. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. You shouldn't turn that off. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. With my car. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? 
They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. <laughs> he sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Maybe he was just cooking dinner? It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressed. LOL. 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 So. LOL. Not gonna say a fucking thing. It's not my fault he's a blind cunt. Actually, hold on. I think something is missing. No, it's on. What the hell? Oh well. If he'd been better with that shotgun, he wouldn't have got his fucking ass munched. Need sperm. Fuck. My leg. He's fucking dead. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I don't think I'm he's alright. He's looking pretty dead. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. How the fuck do you know? You passed out, you little bitch. Why the hell did he have his gun out? I've got my gun out right now. If you know what I mean. They should be a bit more sturdier than that. You shouldn't be able to kick them out. In police cars. Fucking go. Yep. No way you can climb up that steep slope. Oh no. What the fuck? You can't pick that up. Um you I, don't th I think you can pick this up. I don't know. Oh, you fucking leg. Why? Let's go up to this prick. Officer? He's dead. His neck's twisted round. Well, maybe not, but he's looking a bit fucking dead. Nice one. Uh. Uh. Yep, there you go. You don't mean me to fucking do it for you. Uh. Officer. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Shotgun. Get it. Get away from me. Blow your fucking brains out. And he fucking drops it. Pick it up. Don't make me do this. I don't really give a fuck. Boom! Right in the fucking head. I don't think you can say there's been a shooting if you're the one who shot them. I don't think it works like that. 
Oh, fuck. Look where you're fucking going, you idiot. Yeah, you better fucking go fast. I could limp a lot faster than that if those things were fucking after me. Go! Up and fucking over, there we go. There we go. Come on, there we go. Not waste any fucking time examining stuff that we don't need to. Just cut straight to it, because nobody likes to see me fuck about. Gotta select it. There we go. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. I'm just gonna break into your house, okay? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Don't shoot the black man entering your home. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. I like how in games or films, when a zombie apocalypse breaks out, it's in a world where there's never been any, like, kind of zombie, so they don't know what they are. I'm waiting for one just to be... Shaun the Dead, for example, that's a good one. I'm not gonna look at the fucking answer machine. No, I'm not gonna look at it. What the fuck? Don't step in the blood! And now you've got it all over you. Oh, walkie talkie. Hmm. <sighs> What's that beeping? Hmm, could be that answering machine thing. Three new messages. Message one. 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hmm. Daddy? Huh? 
I'm your daddy now, bitch. Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay, I'll be quiet then. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. She wonders why you're not talking. Please don't go. And she can keep fucking wondering. Are you dead too? Damn right I am. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, stopped. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. They're fucking dead. How old are you, little girl? How old are you? Eight. Mm, and you're ripe for the picking. Yes. Oh, I don't God. know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Hmm. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. But I That's fucking smart. can. <laughs> see? Can you see me? Oh, okay. I can see you through the window. That stare. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, cute, 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 cute. Oh shit, eat. Go! Oh my god! My god! Shit! Fucking kick in the face! God damn it! Fuck off! Oh my god! Oh shit! E fuck! Oh, come on! You? Where's my money, bitch? Where's my fucking money? You need to pay me, ho? Fucking bitch? Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. And so am I. I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Hmm. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Hmm. For help before it gets dark. Sun goes down. Actually, I'm gonna leave it here. For the next time. Bleh.